The state is starting to see some results from ramped up testing being done by Convenient MD in long-term care facilities in Hillsborough and Rockingham counties. Based on the numbers we report, uh, we are reporting today and have reported yesterday, uh, we have tested roughly 800 to 900 individuals uh, per day for COVID-19. Now that compares to about a week ago where we were testing 400, 450 a day. With more data, public health officials will have a clearer picture of the pandemic but they say it could be a while before they can make any kind of definitive read on the epidemic curve in New Hampshire. We would have to see consistent um, decrease in not just positive cases, but percentage of positivity, hospitalization rates, all of those things for several weeks before, before I would be comfortable saying we're in a consistent downward trend. Meantime, on the COVID-19 relief front, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is suggesting states should go bankrupt rather than ask for federal aid to plug what are expected to be monster-sized budget holes. Governor Chris Sununu isn't a fan of his fellow Republicans' idea. Uh, that's a ridiculous statement that the states should go bankrupt. Uh, anyone who's saying that in the Senate doesn't know what's going on in states, doesn't know the pressures that states are under and the sacrifices that we've had to make. While state health officials say they are looking to bring expanded testing beyond just the southern tier and the long-term care facilities there, those long-term care facilities remain a major point of concern with two new COVID-19 outbreaks announced today. For more on that, let's go live now to Tyler Dumont. And Adam, we also heard today that the three latest deaths confirmed by the state occurred inside long-term care facilities. They told us today, those health officials, that Outbreaks inside long term care facilities remain one of their top concerns, especially as those facilities uh, have seen a majority of the state's deaths related to the virus. Now, today they announced the confirmation of two new outbreaks totaling 20 positive cases at nursing homes in Derry. 12 residents totaling uh, uh, 12 residents total tested positive and eight employees at the facilities. Now, officials today also updated the number of confirmed previously reported outbreaks of coronavirus in other long term facilities across the state. That includes a total of 43 cases inside an assisted living facility in Dover and more than 180 cases and among two facilities in Manchester. They also revealed 40 COVID-19 cases have been confirmed at an assisted living facility facility in Nashua and 26 at another in Salem. Out of the 51 individuals who have died from COVID-19 in our state, uh, 30 or approximately 60 percent of these individuals have been associated with some of our institutional outbreaks, uh, which is why we're putting such a heavy emphasis on protecting this more vulnerable population. Now, the state has contracted with convenient MD to try and up the number of tests that they're able to do at these long term care facilities in addition to having their own mobile lab out there doing tests. But uh, they do tell us that certainly they are uh, continuing to try and always get more testing supplies. In addition to that, health officials said today that while some facilities have had days of no new positive tests, they want to see it be weeks of no new positive tests before they officially declare those outbreaks cleared. Reporting live in Concord, Tyler Dumont, WMUR News 9.